If your open rates are dropping and your emails are landing in either spam or the promotional tab, your revenue is obviously going to be taking a hit. And this isn't just a problem on some stores, it's actually a pretty universal issue that we see for every single account that I jump into. If you can kind of relate to this, then this video is going to be for you. So bad deliverability is like one of these like really overwhelming topics. But actually, the solution is relatively simple. But if you don't implement it correctly, it's literally going to cost you hundreds of thousands of lost sales in your brands. So in this video, I'm going to be not only covering how to actually diagnose the type of deliverability problem that you have, I'll also go over the simple solutions to each of the deliverability problem variations, as well as cover exactly how to prevent this from happening in the future for your mailing lists. As a side note, I do have a software that helps people fix the their deliverability within Klaviyo. It's called Inbox Cure. I'll get into that a little bit more towards the end, but let's dive in. Now, before we dive into anything specific, we need to first of all diagnose if you actually need the solutions in the first place, right? Because the last thing we want to try to do is segment your list when they don't really need to be segmented in the first place. Here's how we diagnose deliverability internally at the agency. First things first, we go into your Klaviyo dashboard, click on view dashboard. Once you're there, you're going to go into the overview dashboard. It's really important that you do it in the this order because in the default dashboard, it doesn't actually cover the specific metric that we're looking into. Once you're here, you're going to click add card and scroll all the way down to the bottom and then up just a little bit to find the card that says email deliverability by domain. So you're going to click that, add that as a card, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to see a breakdown for each individual email provider, whether it be Gmail, Hotmail, Outlook, Apple, iCloud, etc. And you're going to compare the open rates across the board. If you see on average, the open rate is less than 30% across the board, then it means you just need to segment a little bit more in terms of your engaged segments. Meaning that if you're sending to let's say last 90 day engaged, maybe try to switching to last 60 or last 30. Now, if you see one specific domain with super low open rates relative to others, which most likely by the way, for you guys checking into this, it's gonna be your Outlook and Hotmail. It just means that you need to isolate the sending to those specific domains. We call it recovery domains internally and only target a very tight segment of people within that domain specifically. But you can do your regular sends to your Gmail and Yahoo, etc. And lastly, you know, if all of your open rates across the board are 30% plus, it's not really something that you got to be worried about. In which case, feel free to just click off the video. But if you do have one of the issues I've just highlighted, whether it be low opens across the board or isolated on very specific domains, then it's time to start fixing it. Most of you guys watching this would have done this already because this change was enacted literally like I think like Q1 last year. But if you haven't, make sure you have dedicated domain setup as well as your DMARC setup. In order to do this, you want to click on the bottom left hand side of your screen where it says your brand name, click into settings and then in settings you'll find domain. Click that and then go into branded sending domain. Follow the instructions in this tab if you have not set this up already. It literally takes like 5-10 minutes. All you need to do is enter your root domain as well as like a little extension. So for example, it could be send, email, newsletter, it doesn't really matter. Once you do that, just progress to the next step and you'll see a set of DNS records that it presents you. Simply go into your domain provider whether it be GoDaddy, Namecheap, Squarespace, or even Shopify, and add in the relevant DNS records. Once you hit save, you can authenticate it within Klaviyo and you're literally good to go. The reason why we do this is basically to tell inbox providers such as Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, Outlook, etc., that you are actually a legitimate sender and it's gonna reduce the rate and probability of deliverability issues coming up for you in the future. However, just doing this step alone isn't enough. You also need to rewarm up or re-engage your list properly because you cannot just suddenly start sending to like your entire list immediately with no warm-up process. It's absolutely going to tank your sender reputation. So how do you actually warm up your email domain? There's going to be several segments that you'll need to implement as a result of this and in order to create these segments simply go into listen segments inside of Klaviyo and click on create list slash segment, select segment, and you're basically gonna create your last 15 day engaged, 30 day engaged, 60 day engaged, and 90 day engaged. The first segment you're gonna work on is gonna be the 15 day engaged, which can be created by adding a condition, selecting can or cannot receive email, and making sure it's set to person can receive email marketing. Click on the and button, which basically adds a condition 
that says person can receive email marketing and another condition and that condition being selecting what someone has or has not done clicking opened email and then at least once in the last 15 days once that is selected you're then going to want to click on the and condition again but instead of and this time you want to toggle it to or it's very important that you do this because this is essentially going to incorporate everyone that's signed up in the last seven days for you so under this condition you're going to pick properties about someone and you're going to select the property created to do this you click on the default property which is going to be dollar sign address and you're going to change that to created and you're going to select in the last and you're going to put seven days it should look something like this on screen once this is done you're going to name this segment 15 day engaged and then you're going to hit create a segment now let's work on creating your 30 day engaged segment so you're literally going to do everything that you did in your 15 day engage segment. So you're going to put open at least once in the last 30 days or properties about someone created in the last 15. Once this is done, it's time to work on your 60 day engage segment, which is basically instead of putting 30 and 15, you put 60 for opens and then 30 for created. And then to work on your 90 day engage segment, you're going to want to put 90 instead of the 60 but we're gonna be capping everything at 30. So we're never gonna purely target people who have signed up for 30 days or more. Because the idea is during that time period, they should be sent enough emails whereby if they engage with them, then they would stay on the segment. But if they don't, they'll be removed from your regular sending pool. Once these segments are created, you're gonna start by targeting the 15 day segment until you see a massive increase in your open rates, which for most of you guys should take immediate effect. Once you see about a 40% open rate, you're going to do that twice in a row to make sure you're seeing a 40% plus open rate consistently before moving on to your 30 day engage. And then once you see a consistent 40% or more opens on the 30 day engage segment, you're going to move on to 60 and then lastly to 90. Now this solution is ideal for you if you see a really low open rate across the board for all your domains. If, for example, you only see Hotmail and Outlook have a pretty low open rate, then instead of creating the engaged segment like I just told you, add another condition which is and properties about someone selecting email instead of created where email contains Hotmail or Outlook. Once you add those conditions, you'll be segmenting for people who have engaged with you in that specific time frame for those specific domains. And now you want to follow the same exact process in terms of sending to the last 15 days and then 30, 60, 90 and so on. Once you see 40% plus opens. Applying these two solutions will increase your open rates within about a two week period. Now let's talk about the promo tab, right? Because this is something that's never really talked about because everyone's very, very hyper aware of spam. But the promotional tab wouldn't necessarily translate into a super low open rate. However, it's definitely going to be impacting your revenue. As if your campaign ends up in the promotions tab, people don't get notified on their mobile devices and as a result, don't ever really get to see your content. However, this doesn't really manifest itself in the open rate of your email because majority of opens nowadays are from bot opens from your apps like Gmail, Hotmail, Outlook, and iCloud. So here's a few things that you could actually do in order to prevent yourself from landing in the promotional tab of inbox providers. Number one, try to avoid using super salesy key terms in your subject lines as well as in your email copy. So for example, if let's say you're promoting a buy one, get one free offer in the email, instead of typing in buy one, get one free on the subject line, try B1, G1 or buy one, get one, just removing that like free keyword, right? Same thing on the email content side of things, talking about discounts, coupons, uh, adding urgency, etc. like ending at midnight. That would definitely mean that you'll have a higher probability of landing in the promotional tab. Other things would be if you want to upload, let's say your offer emails as an image, making sure that the alt text doesn't actually have any sales related keywords. Also, that's going to help you land in primary too. Another thing would be including way too many like links in your emails. When I say including too many links, I don't mean like multiple CTAs to the same place. What I mean by that is multiple CTAs to different places. So for example, if you're promoting multiple products in a singular email, rather than driving driving traffic through four different links. Instead, try to drive the traffic to a collections page, right? Where 
uh, it houses all four of the products. But the best way, I'll be honest, to fix the promo tab issue is through our software called Inbox Cure. Because even if you apply all of these best practices, at the end of the day, if 90% of your content is sales and promotional related, then ESP algorithms will still find a way to kind of like categorize you and put you in the promotional folder for a pretty large percentage of the time. Not for everyone, but it's gonna do it for a higher percentage of time for your mailing list. That's why I created Inbox Cure, because what the software does is it enriches your metadata in the content. So that way when Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, and these kind of ESP providers scan your email content, they see a lower match rate to the percentage of sales related keywords in your actual email, which means that you're gonna land in the primary inbox at a much higher percentage of the time. And the bonus is because we're enriching the metadata of the email, aka like basically like the back end of the email, it doesn't actually impact how the email looks aesthetically and the content is never really seen by the reader themselves. Implementation is super simple. It literally takes like one drag and drop block of code into your emails and that code will call on our APIs to actually inject the enrichment data. So if you're curious about how that works, feel free to book a call with my Inbox Cure team, link in the description below. Now that we've covered how to diagnose your deliverability problems, as well as how to solve them, let's talk about how to prevent them from reoccurring in the future. The first thing that you got to set up is a automated mechanism to regularly clean your list. This automated mechanism, a lot of the time, is just called a sunset unengaged flow, and it's super easy to set up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to create a segment and you're gonna name it unengaged. And with this unengaged segment, the criterias are as follows. You're gonna select person has or has not done, opened email zero times in the last 90 to 180 days. It just depends on how many emails you send per week. If you send, let's say, one campaign a week, then select 180. If you're sending, let's say daily, then you can select 90. Or if you're somewhere in between, it could be 100, 120, 140, 160, etc. And then you're gonna add another condition which filters for people who have actually received emails from you, right? So it'll be and has received emails at least 15 times in the last given time period, meaning that they've actually had a chance to engage with your emails, right? So this basically prevents people who have just joined the list or have just purchased from entering this unengaged segment. Once this segment is created, what you're gonna do is you're gonna send a plain text email targeting this specific segment, trying to re-engage them, because as soon as they open an email, they'll be taken out of this segment because they no longer meet the criteria of has opened email zero times in the last whatever time frame. Once you do this, wait a couple days and then you can feel free to just suppress these profiles and remove them from your list. If you're doing this on a quarterly basis, you're generally speaking never gonna have deliverability issues again, provided that you're sending to engaged segments for the vast majority of your campaigns. Now, if you guys wanna diagnose your deliverability as well as get a free trial to Inbox Cure, feel free to book in a call with the Inbox Cure team, link in the description below and we give you guys a free trial so that we literally set up the split test done for you inside of your Klaviyo account and we'll just literally test and show you guys that the software will make you more money than you pay us. No credit card required. There's no like obligation to stay. If that sounds interesting to you, then we'll speak to you soon. Take care.